Happy Monday morning from Negril, Jamaica. It's a long time coming getting here, uh, especially the last couple days. And that's what this video is about. It is just a reminder that you are supported. So here's the story. Back in September, early September. So I got my dog June 2022. By September, we had finally gotten into a groove. It was the three months. We, we were good with each other. Then, morning. good morning. <sighs> Out of nowhere, she broke her leg because God. <laughs> so I had to deal with that. And of course that brought us closer together. I grew in ways that I didn't know were possible. So, I mean, I'm a brand new dog mom. Three months in, my dog breaks her leg. I'm not looking, I'm not checking for any more disasters because God, I got the message. Like, it's time to grow up, develop some emotional skills and yada yada. I, I thought we were done. Turns out we weren't. So, mind you. I left for Jamaica on Sunday, somewhere around Tuesday probably. I noticed she had a bit of a limp. So I'm like, yeah, she's fine. She'll walk it off. She's a tough girl. She's a German Shepherd lab mix. I'm like, Viv is tough. I decided to bring her to the vet. Actually to urgent care first because her vet can take her. And they were like, so, she needs to get her pins taken out because when she broke her leg she was 40 pounds now she's 50 pounds and with the growing things are just out of whack mama has the pins pushing on her nerves it's like poor thing poor thing like she can't catch a break and I was just like, so I have a vacation coming up. Like I booked a non-refundable trip because I'm not thinking any disasters are gonna strike. They were like, yeah, within the next, you know, a couple of weeks, she should see her surgeon and get those taken out. So that bought me a little time at the very least. And um, I decided to Send her to a medical vet um, that does boarding. So her vet does boarding, um, but I, I wasn't even thinking of them because they're small and I didn't think they would have room. So I woke up Saturday morning after her being up with her Friday night and she's loopy and I get home at 10 and I have to make dinner and I'm just tired. I am beat. And I wake up at like 7 a.m. To call a vet that I knew would take her definitely did not take her because she was not their patient so they were like yeah we don't we don't know your dog so quote unquote we're full I called so many places and after hearing my story like they seemed okay with it but once they heard that like she had some kind of like lingering injury they were like yeah we're full code for we're not taking liability for your dog um, so after hours and hours and hours of calling around, like I even had a waxing appointment in between. Um, around nine o'clock, I get to my waxing appointment. I decide to finally call her vet after calling like half a dozen other places. Her vet says, we really tried to make it work, but we just don't have enough room, like space for her. We don't, they don't, they didn't have a crate or like a, a kennel big enough for her to turn around in. So they decided like it just wouldn't be a pleasant experience for her and they couldn't take her. Understood. But they recommended a place that's like down the street from where I live to board her. And I was like, but she's not, she's not a client of theirs. Like I, I've never taken her because normally when you have a dog, you have to um, do like a trial so that they can see your dog's temperament because they're not trying to take in good morning. They're not trying to take in just anybody's old crazy dog. Um, and she was like, yeah, no, I usually recommend them to people. They 
they're just cool with taking in dogs. I was like, oh, okay. So when that light bulb went off, I was like, oh, I might as well like check with her regular boarding place and see what they think. So I did my waxing appointment and rolled down to her boarding place, which was like just down the street um, from my waxing place and um, popped in and uh, got to speak with the owner. And uh, he was like, yeah, of course. I was like, really? Like, even with her, you know, she, she can walk, she can do everything, but she just has a limp and she's a little bit uncomfortable and I have meds for her and yada yada. And they were like, she's not gonna like it because she won't be able to run and jump and play, but of course we'll take her in. And in that moment, I could have cried. I promise you, I could have cried. I was so grateful. And um, they were just like, yeah, of course. Like, of course we'll take her. And I was like, it's, it's for the week. And they were like, yeah, just bring her. Is she in the car now? And I was like, no, I have to go home and get her. But I just wanted to come and make sure that everything's okay. And they were just like, yeah, of course. And that was one of those things I had to go through. All of the anxiety and the emotion and all of that. Just to get to the realization that I am supported. I moved down to Charlotte by myself. Didn't need any remorse or, or help or anything. It, this is my decision and it was the decision kind of of my life, honestly, so far. It has been an awesome experience. Of course, I found my pup. I found so many other resources to help me along my spiritual journey. Charlotte has been it for me. And that could, for anybody, it's just, it, it could be anywhere for you. Just wherever you're being called to move, do it. You just you need that space, you need that quiet for yourself but even with all of the the spiritual growth and just personal and career growth I felt not even alone per se unsupported like physically unsupported um, and that was in that moment I realized I am supported like I do have people here who are looking out for me um, who really, really do have my back and, and Vivian's back. And um, when I dropped her off, filled out the notes for her stay with the medications and how much food to feed her per day. They already know all of that, but I still just wanted to write it out for them. And um, one of her faves who was there with me as I filled it out, she just, you know, reassured me don't don't ever feel like you can't you know bring her if anything's going on just bring her like it's 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 fine you got her and I really I <laughs> I had gone through so much that like Friday night Saturday morning I was like can I move my flight and then I realized it was not refundable like I, I was just figuring out I was like I'm gonna have to eat the loss of this flight cost and I just my mind went to the worst place and I finally just, when I got to the end, I was like, wow, I really am supported. And it's just about accepting the support and not being afraid to ask for it. Even just not even necessarily asking for support, but asking the question, just asking the necessary questions to see, you know where you can get especially if you're you're not someone who relies on people all the time and you're not you know a parasite <laughs> or you know just not you don't take advantage of people like it'll it'll come back around to you people will be more than happy to support so that's that's my message for today you know especially for women being a strong woman and you know those of us who live on our own and those of us who have you know families I consider my dog family those of us who feel like it's our responsibility to hold it down all the time help can come from the most unsuspecting places and at the most unsus unsuspecting times I'm still like in awe that these people were just like yeah like they're they're not they just they were there and they just have no idea how much that saved me so even when things are just it feels like there's no end in sight it feels like there's no resolution 
there is there is someone everyone has somebody just ask somebody you never know what might be in their spirit that day at that moment to help you out so this is just a reminder that you are supported and I had to journal on it just I am supported I am fully supported I always I've always known that I'm supported by my spirit guides but this is just next level physical tangible support that I didn't know I had so I leave you with this from paradise you are so so supported <sighs> love you love KP thank you for watching <laughs>